Hey, welcome back to Leha Lift. I'm Juan. I'm Victor. And this is Leha Lift Podcast for Podcast for We Lift. Uh, where do we went over that? The Instagrams is Juan Leha Lift underscore. And Victor Leha underscore. And then YouTube and Facebook, Leha Lift all one word, which we kind of use sometimes. Kind of. Um, anything else? Oh, yeah. Email Juanito.LejaLift1 at Gmail. And Victor.LejaLift at Gmail. All right. And we kind of messed up because we started talking about this before we started podcasting. Yeah. It's actually, we can probably make a, a, a blooper highlight reel because I still recorded it. Yeah. But it's yeah, not yeah. it's not like the within the podcast recording. Although I don't I don't want to, what's it called, to edit the videos. I just kind of want to post it. Yeah. Well, so we, I'm going to go. Can, we can have like add up a lot of hours of LejaLift bloopers and we'll make them into a video or whatever. Nah, maybe. Yeah, that sounds better than me having to edit this video. And we'll wait for Richter to stop stuffing his goddamn pillowcase because he's making so much goddamn noise on the... You can't even hear it. You can. It's because it was dog hair. It's gross. Do you even listen to your podcast? Yes. You can hear all of like the chairs squeaking and all that shit. You can hear all that. There's no chairs in here. Then That's last week's podcast, fool. Oh. We're using the chairs anyways. Oh yeah, so what we're talking about... So where do you want to start off with? Uh, I don't know. How about the, the Porzingis trade? Porzingis? Well, that because it actually happened. That's yeah, what, that's why I would start with yeah. that one. Uh, how's that? Uh, I don't think anyone lost. No, I think that's pretty good. But who, who do you think got a better deal out of it? I mean, uh, sure, you got Porzingis, but he's not playing this season. And then you still need to, you know, kind of work him back in and hope that he does well with the team and whatnot. Deal-wise, I think the Knicks might have gotten a better deal. You think so? Yeah. I mean, they did get, what, two first rounds or something yeah. like that? And then the three players? Yeah, who who DeAndre Dennis Smith Jr. and I forget the other third one. Oh, como que you forgot? I forget the third one. You're supposed mean? to be your, my my basketball guy. I just I, talk shit about basketball and <laughs> and, and uh, promote the Spurs. That's about all I do about I will, basketball. I will figure that out. But You're yeah, they got to be a the pretty good deal. Guy. I'm I'm more the football guy. And well, speaking of which, the um, I guess that Porzingis trade. That two first round draft picks and the Knicks are, I think they have the worst record in the NBA at ten and forty. <laughs> I think I think I just saw, uh, on ESPN right before I, I drove over here. It said, "Tune in to uh, to the Knicks versus whoever they're playing and their eleven game losing streak." <laughs> is that what it is? I was like, "This is your way to promote the Knicks." <laughs> watch, well, the, watch them. See, maybe they make a, a twelve game losing streak. That's no, basically what it is at this point. <laughs> so we have uh, I mean on top of that like they have the worst record right now and which gives them a pretty good shot at the first pick which can be Zion Williams now how do what year what year did they get the uh, the first round picks did they get it for next year I saw I think I'm almost taking 2021 but since okay. they're in the worst seed right now they have the best chance to have the first to spot. have next week yeah Next but, year's. but the one that they got from the from Dallas is it the two that they got from Dallas aren't for till the future. I uh, yes, their future. Okay. I think twenty twenty one. If I have one, at least one of them I saw. I think was twenty twenty one. I'm looking for it right now. But so that means the Knicks will have two picks in the in the first round for two years. Sounds about right. That's pretty solid to me. I mean, you I mean can, that's a very good way. You to can have... develop a team in like if you can get a coach out there. Yeah, and I'm not and, sure who wants to play there, but I don't know how their management is, but. It seems like they there's a reason why players don't want to go over there. Yeah, it seems like before, it seems it's like before Kyrie and Anthony Davis might have been interested, but do you think he'd still go now with no uh, Porzingis? I have no fucking idea. I would. I mean, I just saw that Kyrie and Durant might want to go over there. I don't even know that's real, but according to you, according to you and uh, you're on a, a three way test with uh, LeBron and Kyrie apparently. No. And you think you think Kyrie's gonna go to L.A.? I said he he would be interested in playing with LeBron again. Yeah, if they can get Clay over there and Anthony Davis, he'd take a uh, the veteran veteran minimum to go over there. Uh, that's ridiculous though. Like, I don't think how, so. how do you make a team like that? Are you like you got to pay a lot. You, you're gonna make it's like like right now like it. the Warriors have an Olympic starting lineup. Yeah, but they now pay LA's it. gonna have a. Uh, an Olympic starting lineup next year. No but, but LA has like the money to pay for that though. Well, yeah, but it's, I, I don't, I'm not sure if Golden State does, but I think they paid like, if I'm not mistaken, like 40 something million in luxury tax. Doesn't matter. They probably make that back. I mean, yeah, but that, that's last still time I, 40 million dollars. Last time I checked, they sold, they sold each, like for one seat, like to be on the floor seat, it's like half a, half a mil for one seat. 
Yeah, sounds about right. At, at the Golden State Warriors? Yeah, yeah I know. I, I think I saw that it costs like half a mil just for one seat. And how many... They, they make the... They make... The luxury taxes are floor seats. Well, that's why they need to have it that. It don't matter. But, I mean, at the same time, they it's still so $40 million. Dollars. But they also... I don't think they can afford to keep them all next year. So that leaves Durant and Clay for a possible out. Yeah. Which hopefully may lead... I, I would like to see Clay Braun together with Anthony Davis... And potentially Kyrie Irving. Yeah. If that would be, I th- that, I think that team takes out the Warriors. Oh, we'll see. I mean, you still got Durant, Curry, I'll Andre Iguodala off the bench, which is very the good, Spurs, and Draymond. They won't take out the Spurs. Yeah, no, I don't, uh, yeah, that's the one team I don't think they'll beat the Spurs, but everybody else, <laughs> everybody else. That's what I thought. But I don't like what LA would be giving up for Anthony Davis. I obviously would love to see Anthony Davis there, but I, well, Lonzo. I would be okay with them trading because they still got LeBron to handle the ball, but Kyle Cruz, when they'd be trading away, yeah. which would be a huge loss because he's obviously against us when we saw them. He dropped like 27 in the first half. Well, yeah, but, I mean, they still lost. They still lost, but he dropped 40, I mean, I think at the end it was 40 points, which yeah. not a lot of players are going to do, especially one in his second year. Yeah. So but, I think that I, I think that would be a huge hit to them. Brandon Ingram, I'm okay with him leaving because you got plenty of... I guess back up to kind of grind out there and Lonzo. I, I would hate to see him go, but I mean I'm fine with that too. Not Kuzma though. I think that'd be too big of a hit for them. Well, according to you, if Kyrie can go over there for for a, a, of the right price, if uh, if they were able to get Clay and Anthony Davis, according to you, he's gonna go over there. I didn't say you'd go. I said he was interested in playing with LeBron. Interested in playing with LeBron. Interested in playing LeBron is much different from him thinking about going who, to LA. Who are, you so, who are your sources? Who are your inside sources? Who pay you? The, just NBA. You got the who app, you? the NBA Twitter, everything. It says it on there. <laughs> Not special. He's going to go over there. Like, hey, guys, going to come play with y'all? Yeah. Bring his own basketball and everything. Yeah, I have uh, that dope yeah. junior size. Yeah, he's like, I'll sweep the floors and everything, man. Just <laughs> let me stay on the team. I mean, I mean, if it man sitting courtside by Braun and all those guys, I think I would do that. Plus, they don't make too bad of a salary, so I wouldn't mind that at all. But I don't think it would matter if they got rid of all those young guys, because if you can get all those other guys to play, so the veterans that are good are going to come take the veteran minimum to come play. And we, you've already seen that with LeBron. Yeah, like in, yeah. at the Heat and with the Cavs. I mean, I guess I'm okay like with it. Like, he's still going to draw other players to oh, absolutely. The, the LA, especially if they can get those guys. He, he came back last night after being away for, four, what, four weeks or whatever? Almost had a triple-double by, by, like by one five, assist. Six he, weeks. he was one assist away from a triple-double when his first game back. Yeah, because he probably wasn't, like, hurt the way he, he's... Like, he, the, like, the extent that he set out probably wasn't the extent that he was actually hurt. Maybe not, but, but he, it's still but coming he, back. Yeah, it's coming but, from but not playing. But his body rest. I'm sure he was practicing, like, on his own. Yeah, but practicing is not the same as full-on... To LeBron, if you're a professional, oh, you, you can't, like the top you professional... Can, you cannot excuse how good he is to use that as an excuse. Like, well, to anybody else, that'd be fine. But to LeBron, that no, doesn't no, no. count. I mean, to a professional, period, to be out and then just to come back and... I mean, yeah, what he did was probably extraordinary, but that's why he he's who he is. That's why he has all these endorsements. Because he backs it up. Yeah, I agree. But I think that uh, I'm okay with that. Now thinking about it the way you said it. Because LeBron is obviously nearing the end of his career. If not after this contract of the four years. Yeah. So it's pretty much a win now for LA. You got Anthony Davis and <laughs> if you see him, Clay like, and stuff. If he's not on the court, he's off the court with like the uh, uh, what's it called a game ready on him, I think. Do you know what the game ready is? Mm-mm. It's like an inflatable system that, that has like cold water rushing through it. Oh, is that to, the one that they put on their yeah, legs yeah, and yeah. stuff? Yeah, I've So if that. he's not on the court, he's like, like yeah. all his Instagram like story stuff is him on that. Yeah, that's all he's he way to practice. I, so he's there like preserving his body, they're like carrying his carcass to the to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, All right, LeBron, you have forty eight minutes, don't go to overtime, go. <laughs> I, I think, if I'm not mistaken, on top of everything that they give him, he spent uh, like a million or two million dollars worth of his own money to take care of his body last oh, yeah. season, I mean, which is extraordinary. And I, mean, I mean, they do everything for you, and then you're still going to spend another million dollars of your own money to take care of your body? Well, it shows. I mean, he hardly get, he rarely gets hurt. Yeah, I mean, and when he does, he comes back just as good. He doesn't, well, when you know, I do. Thankfully, yeah, I don't always get hurt, but when I do... I come almost back. make a triple double come I, back. Uh, yeah, basically, he he does come back strong, and he does seem to 
come back a little sooner and a little better than most other players would. So well, I guess in that aspect, I'm okay with them leaving Kyle Kuzma and trading him, um, even though hopefully he'll come back eventually because <laughs> I mean, he's still very he's only like what 21 or 22 and he's a yeah. great player. So yeah, I mean, because they're gonna get if they can get that team together next year, you're gonna have other veterans come play for veteran minimum that are good. I mean, I would like, like to see a few of those stay. Like, I wouldn't mind seeing JaVel McGee stay just yeah. because he plays defense, so that would be a good help to them. <laughs> JaVel McGee's a pretty good defender. I mean... All right. Okay. Uh, I, I, All he, right. He's not... He, he's only, like, a lob uh, city hey, guy. Anyways... But um, defender-wise, he's a, a good blocker, I should say. He's a good, good blocker. <laughs> Less he less. was he was like top five in blocks for a little for a while when he was with like uh, okay. the Nuggets at first uh, and then right. the Washington yeah, Wizards. Sure. And all right, yeah. He was a good blocker. Right. He has cool. some good. He's an cool. idiot, but cool. you know he's a good blocker. <laughs> cool, yeah, yeah. Um, you can look up the stats. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll look him up sometime. Yeah, back when don't Dwight, worry about back it. Back when Dwight was also good. I'll I'll look I'll look him up sometime. You should. Yeah. He averaged like two blocks a game. All right. Yeah. I think him, Dwight, and Anthony Davis were like top guys for blocks. Good during those yeah. during that time. What happened to all those guys? Well, I think Davis still there. Joe McGee is still black. Dwight Howard just well, he's Dwight Howard now. He's just another <laughs> role player. He's not Dwight he's, anymore. He's, well, though, it's good about him if you can if you can get him on. He's with who right now? Atlanta. You no, know, he was Atlanta. I think he's. I don't know if they traded him already or if they want to, but he was is with he the Wizards. Playing? I don't think so. Not right now. Right. Wizards or Hornets or something like that. I forget what I it mean, was. I mean, the the he, good thing about him is that you can get six players on the court if he's on there. Too much, <laughs> and you won't even get a penalty. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. Hey, he's not a bad pickup for the Knicks right now. Hey, Knicks, has he been with the Knicks yet or no? I don't even remember. Uh, no, no, he has not. Hey, I'm just saying. Hey, you Hawks, just Magic, Lakers, Hornets, Wizards. I think you just, you just, the, they just made a, a a pretty good trade. I think picked up five guys. Hey, why not get a. Seven players for <laughs> for six for the press of six right there. I'm just saying, think about it. If you try to rebuild right there, <laughs> and you got you got a solid team right there. I mean, you're not wrong, but I just I do you have two jerseys right. now or? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Speaking of. Oh, you're over here uh, flexing on on Instagram. I told you I was gonna bring it up. Yeah. And you're not even putting uh, Leha Lift on the on the hashtag or nothing. Yeah. Because everybody already knows where them games coming from, everybody boy. Everybody knows. Everybody knows where them games coming from, boy. From, from me. From you. From, from Leha Lift. Oh well, yeah. That, uh, I guess. I thought about actually doing the same thing when I saw it. I was like, bitch. I was like, oh, are we all just flexing today or what? Is yeah, Leha Lift? Is it Leha Lift flex lift day? Yeah, so it was. Oh, it was Friday, so we could do flex Friday. Yeah. Flex Friday for Lake Lift or what? Flex Friday for Lake Flex Friday for for Lake Lift. Yeah, we'll do that. You're over here flexing in front don't, of me. Don't talk about flexing with your brand new truck. Brand new truck. Who has a brand new truck? You have a brand new truck. You got a brand new truck, Mister Flex for the Gram. Leave. I don't. I don't flex. I don't. Need, I don't. No one knows about that truck. Oh, well, now they do. No, you don't need to know about that truck. They all they need to know. Why brand make, new. Why do you got make me a target right now? Brand spanking new, fully loaded. You didn't even got leather in there. He's got like polar bear or some shit. Because your boy keeps on texting me every day. Ooh, oh, Jim. And, and calling oh, me. Yeah, yeah. But I'm like, I'm, they call me in the middle of work. I'm like, I'm oh, not yeah. going to answer the phone. Oh. I see patients all goddamn day. Oh, yeah. But I mean, you got to <laughs> take into consideration this is uh, his, this is what he's required to do for yeah. his work. So yeah, when he's at I'm work like, and you're at work, your work know, is like, very I different. Can't answer, I can't answer beat calls right now and I get texts yeah. and I'm like, I get out late and i'm like i ain't gonna text back at seven eight o'clock yeah i know i just let it be i'm just like ah i'll just leave that be i'm just like come on man but still how, how are you how are you liking it now it's uh obviously a little bit a little bit is a understatement of an upgrade from your car i think i think the biggest thing for me is that now i don't have to think about my safety in a vehicle <laughs> so that so now my mind is doesn't isn't concerned about am I gonna get stranded or is my car or, breaks gonna or my wheels gonna fly and... off? <laughs> I think I think that's a, but I I think I could have gotten that in any ve- new vehicle that I would have gotten. But really. you didn't want just any vehicle. If you're gonna spend that money, I mean, you I might almost, as well get I, what you I want. Almost, I almost did just go with whatever vehicle. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, if you're gonna sp- you're gonna spend the same money or around the same money regardless, so get what you want. Well, the reason I got the truck is because 
it's it's a little more versatile than than another vehicle like a car like yeah it's, it's badass but a truck is more versatile so but it's also what you wanted that style of well, truck the, the, re the truck reason the reason i wanted it is because i suck at parking so i needed a, i couldn't get a full-size truck because i wasn't able to park that well i mean you could and then two I, I need i wanted a versatile vehicle and the truck's just a little more versatile and then three you can buy that cover in the back it mm -hmm. Lalo was telling me it, it, you can buy one that's like a thousand bucks or one that's like two hundred fifty bucks, uh, which it essentially does the same thing where you can just add the cover to the back if you want to put like groceries or something oh, back yeah, there in yeah. the training, um, and it, you could almost convert it into like a what's it called, uh, uh, pinche like cajuela. A, oh yeah, yeah. I don't know trunk. what you, I forgot. Trunk. There you go. <laughs> and it's worth of the day trunk cajuela yeah cajuela i don't even need to look that up i yeah. got you don't even worry about it Aquí tengo Google I mean, that would translate. Be, that'd be a pretty good option too and like you said it is more versatile but i mean it's it's what you wanted and what you wanted previously or a similar version of what you wanted yeah so i would say for anybody in general if well, you're I mean, gonna spend that money you might as well get what you want I because mean, otherwise you're gonna save maybe a thousand two thousand dollars you're gonna get a car versus a truck you wanted or you might get a downgraded truck from what you wanted whatever the reason is if you're gonna spend that money you might as well spend it right yeah because i got them little seats in the line x and the yeah, back yeah so. you got that heated seat and every heated yeah. steering wheel you got it all even though i don't I probably won't use it but i mean there. eventually it'll it's maybe there for the passengers yeah if, eventually you know maybe it'll be you know uh, a thing that you're like, oh wait, I got this now, and it keeps your culo caliente. Yeah, you keep it culo, keep, keep your culo, your caliente culo warm with the, with the heat seat. No, that's what you can call. That's what you can call yourself a hot ass. Actually, my the first car I wanted was a Corvette, so I didn't get the car I initially wanted, but I got the the second car that I I liked, well, which was a, a mid size truck. Well, the I Corvette mean, was the first car I liked, and the mid size truck was the second car I I liked. But you'd rather have a much smaller car with no actual trunk i mean when you get a vet i don't think that anything matters you won't need a trunk people will be moving no shit for you. you need a trunk because you can't even put like a gallon of milk anywhere in that I, thing i won't have to people are going to take gallons of milk for me when i get that vet. no i don't think they're gonna <laughs> i don't think that's the way it works. i think that works i think that's how it works but if you're looking for a corvette they are you got uber out. too doesn't uber deliver they got curbside so I, I got, HEB has curbside. Exactly. So you, you got I got I got a, a good idea. HEB has a curbside. Holla HEB. If you want to be a sponsor, holla at your boy. <laughs> uh, they have curbside. Then you can get Uber, right? And be like, hey Uber, can you pick up my curbside groceries? Boom, you got a deal. Or right you can, there. there is things like Favor and Shipped and stuff like that who actually just grocery shop for you. So you use one. Nah, man, they, I got one better. They but just, if you're interested in a Corvette, curbside and pick your shit up. If you're interested in a Corvette, they're actually. Uh, well, not, not anymore, I'm, fool. I'm not going to go for a Corvette. Well, I know, but I mean, like, there there were, uh, if I'm not mistaken, coming out with a mid-engine Corvette. Mid-engine? Bitch, I want the full engine. What the fuck I want mid-engine well, mid-engine is just different. But the cool thing about the one is that, I mean, the way they explain it, you've got to see the videos and the way all I, that stuff. The way I'm to it, oh, awesome. you got a half ass Corvette? No, it's not a mid, like, it's not a half size Corvette or half engine size Corvette. That's not not what it is what is it to it's me it just, sounds like oh, it's just a very cool corvette this is a more way. affordable corvette it, it'd be a, it, it would corvette. just be a very very long explanation so i'm just gonna say it's a very cool corvette mm -hmm. and it's very very fast very cool very fast very cool very all fast. right yeah guys yeah that's what they said about the honda civic too hey honda Civic's a good car man it is i think lasts forever you yeah. can you can probably give that to your grandkids and it's just probably. so probably I, I don't think i'd want to but i mean you could though you could you'd be like here's what you get nah <laughs> hand it down i'll hand out down to the colorado they're, now they're gonna be like dad how does you how do you drive this thing what is this piece of metal you put into this vehicle like, <laughs> what, what is this usb plug? that's a key son what is a usb plug i don't like, know what, what that is what the hell this thing doesn't fly why not can I install my brain chip into it? <laughs> it's gonna be like that movie. What's it called? What's that movie with the blue aliens? Uh, shit. Uh, iRobot? No. No, not iRobot. Blue aliens. Avatar? Avatar. Oh, yeah. You know, they connect. You with a car? Just fucking yeah. connect your brain to your car. iRobot, they were, I think they turned blue or something like that. iRobot, the they turned ones. red and they fucking killed yeah, you. Yeah, but didn't they turn blue when they were like nice or whenever they when had they like were blue, or something? But, yeah, when they were blue, they were nice. But that was a fake. That was a front right there. Well, maybe, but still. That's, what I, was front. that's, that's what I was referring to. Cause, Don't cross those Because Will Smith had that, that like super robotic, crazy auto-driving car. They cut you. They cut you. 
you yeah. catch it quick. Anyways, uh, the yeah, so the Perlingas trade, you get yeah, you get Dwight two for one. Um, <laughs> Anthony Davis potential. Yeah. All right, we're moving on to yeah, yeah, yeah. How, about, how, about, how about how 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 about football? Uh, well, we covered it last week, but uh, what's your final score? Shit. Well, now you can bet on almost anything. Like if you go online. So if you wanna if you wanna throw a fun. Final score in. I don't even know. Don't, There's online betting. Gambling's all no, legal now, so you can that kind of money. You can throw to. money down. I got two pennies and a stick of gum, and I kind of want both of those. So. You can put two pennies down. You can probably make a buck out of it. Fuck, uh, <laughs> maybe. Probably. Yeah, I'll, I'll take that bet. Okay, two pennies. I'll keep a stick of gum. Fair enough. I'll buy more sticks of gum with there that you dollar. Go. With that dollar, I got another little yeah. pack. Oh, uh, let's see. I don't know. Because uh, the Rams get, have a good one-two punch combo in the running game. I don't know who has a better defense. I don't know how the Patriots defense. I don't keep up with the Patriots. I would say the Rams, maybe. I don't know. That's a tough one. They're both offensive teams. I'll put it that way. I don't know who has a better defense. Uh, but I think the the Rams have a good one-two running, running back combo. And a, a pretty solid receiving core. And a oh, good yeah. enough quarterback. So, so you, are, my you question, the, are you taking the Rams? My question is who has a better defense, I, and I don't know that. That's a tough one. That's a good one, too. At this point, they're both offensive teams, so... Are you sure? They both, I, I, they both I, have I decent defenses. Both offensive, offensive I just don't know team. who has a better defense. I don't know, but I think they're both just like strong offensive teams, so I think that's where... Well, who do the Patriots have that's catching the goddamn ball? Everybody. Edelman, Gronk. You don't need. Is Gronk I mean, even playing? You got Tom Brady, I believe so. You got Tom Brady. It doesn't matter who it is. Tom Brady. Well, will that's true. That I. Well, th- that is true. But sometimes it matters. Well, yeah. Just like last Tom year, he's gonna give you. Well, when they took when they took out their uh, their secondary, who who was it that they brought out last year? That they didn't play in the secondary. No, we, it doesn't matter because Tom Brady's the one that didn't catch it. He's used to throwing, not catching. I don't know why they put him in a situation. Well, it matters because. What if the he can't catch. what if the Eagles didn't score an extra touchdown because of him? He didn't need to catch exactly. that. Exactly. He well he did need to catch that one. He would it would have been good. Hmm. I don't know. But instead Big Dick Nick came and play. <laughs> He's there to catch. Yeah. And he can't catch. I don't know. Uh we'll go with Rams. Rams by like and versus Tom Brady, I don't think you're gonna win by more than a touchdown. So I'll go by like five. Okay. Right. I'll go Rams by like five. Rams by five, you heard it Because it always, it always comes down to like the last drive. Tom Brady has the ball, last drive. He always comes in close. Uh, not always. Not, not always. last year. Not last year, he didn't catch it. <laughs> well, he throws it, he's not. Well, okay, you heard it here first, Rams by five. Rams by five. And if they don't win or they lose by five, then we need to delete this podcast because... Out of existence. <laughs> this never this happened. never happened. You didn't hear shit. <laughs> you don't know my truck exists, boy. <laughs> Mitch never took no selfie. <laughs> For a thing, this trip never happened. Dwight's <laughs> only one player. <laughs> this never happened. Oh, man. Yeah. I think I'll, I'll take rounds by 5v2. Um, Tom Brady is great, but when you have a... More weapons, in my opinion, probably maybe on the Rams with, you know, yeah. of course, Sherry Goff is a great quarterback, but you got, like you said, the running game, the receivers, so you just have, I guess, more reliable. So I'm just going to take the Rams. By how much? I'll give them 10 at most. Mm. But 10 at most? That's at a most. shitload so of 10. points. Well, yeah, but that's I mean. A, that's a, the Patriots in, like, final form versus, I don't know, like, versus, like, Tampa Bay in preseason. Tampa Bay is not that terrible. They can't win no games. They well, can't finish games. You're right, but this still not that. No terrible. team is terrible. It's just that it always comes down to like the the you know man- game time management, uh, play calling. Because I mean, think about it. Everyone's a fucking professional. Everyone's good. Everyone's good. It's just how well is your team? How how do they mesh? And how good are they at managing time? Like a, a lot of it's all the little factors because. All the talent is is on every team, and you you even said it, it doesn't matter who Tom Brady has as receiver. Why? Because mm-hmm. they have Tom Brady. Because Tom Brady is exactly. Tom Brady. So when you have yeah, but how many how many people can say that Tom Brady? Just one. Exactly. It's fucking Tom Brady. But if you have teams of like, like the Saints, like if they would they would have had Des Bryant, but if he wouldn't have gotten hurt, 
That was, like, uh, that would have been a team with Drew Brees <laughs> with, was, the, with stacked weapons. That would have been a pretty scary if, team. If they didn't have enough weapons now, yeah. that would have even have added more depth to it. I think so then who, you, who do you choose now? Do you choose Tom Brady with no receivers? Or do you choose Drew Brees with the Saints? But see, Jerkoff is still a young quarterback. Drew Brees is, again, Drew Brees. He's proven himself time yeah. and time again. In that situation, I would take a stacked Saints team with Drew Brees because exactly. that's Drew Brees. Exactly, but he has a stacked team. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, you know, over it's not the same thing as saying Jared Goff. He's a much younger quarterback. Of course, he's proven himself to be a good quarterback. But Drew Brees is, you well, know, a do decade. You take, do you take Drew Brees with no weapons, league. or do you take Tom Brady with weapons with the with the Saints' weapons? I mean, that's kind of the same thing. You take Drew Brees with no weapons, or Tom yeah. Brady with no. You still well, got a no. great quarterback that's proven himself for a decade plus. Yeah, but he has weapons though. Yeah, that's the thing. That, that's a tough one. But I'll, I'll take the Rams. I'll take the Rams. Because the quarterback is good enough and your defense is great, and you have some weapons on that team, I think you're you're okay. I'll take the Rams to put Gronk into retirement. Well, how much did you say? Ten? I'll give him ten. At God most. Damn. At most, I would say I don't think it'll go over ten. Is what I'm saying. You should. I don't think it'll be ten, but I don't think Vegas it'll go over should 10. not hire you as an over under. I'll tell you that. I did. Football <laughs> is not my priority. Vegas should not hire you as you, an over under. You can put me on basketball. Football is not my priority. Vegas is not. Hell no. Vegas don't hire this boy over here. No, I'm not. I don't want to go to Vegas. I lose all my money. <laughs> Probably. You lose everyone else's money. You lose Vegas. No, you uh, make everyone money. You lose Vegas money. Shit, I would owe Vegas money. Damn, boy. They're going to charge me to go into casinos. Probably. So yeah. it, So my question is, how? what What'd you do to get that body on Instagram? Hard work consistency, my man. Hard work consistency. Like, what'd you do? Well, what'd you do? Like, everything... Well, I mean, you, we talked about it already. Well, if I'm being honest, I just usually go text and somehow these gains just show up. Yeah, probably. That's what happens when you do... Ha- uh, the more hashtags you add, the more gains you you, you look like that's, you have. That's what I was trying to do, but I had no hashtags, so obviously I you know had still had a shitload of I gains. I think that but... was made by like the far left. I think they made that the correlation. I think so too. And the more hashtags you add, the more hashtags you add, the more gains it looks like you have. There you go. See, that's what I'm doing. See, yeah. well, I usually just go text, and it's usually yeah. thumb day for me, and that's how I end up just make a bunch. Get of the games right randomly. lighting of the sun. Get the right right angle yeah that's all it is yeah just suck it in a, just a little bit see what i did is uh I, I went to one side of the mirror and i unscrewed one of the light bulbs so the shadow can give me a better effect oh, and that's kind yeah, of what that's i'm just, just kidding i don't even know how to remember. those things don't have <laughs> light bulbs those those mirrors don't have light bulbs they have those ceiling lights uh let's see oh yeah and then uh i don't know if this is news but i i now have a uh, snapchat you now have a Snapchat. Yeah, so you, did not, you did not previously. <laughs> I did not previously uh. have a Snapchat. But now I do. Uh, and I probably won't use it, but I have it now, so it's there. I just thought I'd throw that in there as a bonus content to today's bonus podcast. Content. We need to drop the Snapchat. Man, name, I'm man. adding a bunch of shit now. now you you got to drop, drop the Snapchat name the then, Snapchat. man. I don't, I don't know what it is. All over the place. I don't know what it is. Whatever you put as your username or whatever. I don't know what it is. Whatever. I, I what do you used to you. log in? Like JuanLeca25 mm-hmm. at poppy.com or whatever. I don't know. Oh, my email? You no, know, but like whatever I use that. my personal email. I don't well, use my, I don't use my they have it. But it asked you for like a, like a, I guess kind of like a screen name, if you will. Oh, I never changed that. That's more it's, of like your time. I just to put what, you know? Yeah, I just put whatever it gave me. Juan Leca. It. I don't know what it is. There's numbers. You can look at name. it whenever you log in. You could. Yeah, I know, but I don't want yeah, to tell you right now. Well, in bonus content. Eventually, you find out. Bonus content. Juan Snapchat. <laughs> I th- ten you years, didn't know how to work Instagram, so I ten years you know later, Snapchat. I just got it. I know, and I just got Instagram too. Like what, six months ago? Yeah, you sound like somebody I know. Sorry, babe. And she's the same one. She's the same one. And it's the, one less listener. It's the instance. It's the instant scram. And one less listener. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone for listening today. Oh, uh, anything else that you want to add? Um, what do we have? What do we have? What are you? What are you doing? Are you still sticking to the same uh, workout regimen? Uh, I switched it up this week just because I messed up my neck last Saturday. I mean, it's like I don't have it's, hundred percent or I'd say like ninety percent right now. Not 100, but 90. Uh, so this week I took it a little lighter. Uh, I didn't do chest because I also strained my right back like Damn. two weeks ago. Uh, so chest, I've been taking it like super light. Just more repetition, slow and controlled with uh, lighter lighter weight. Um, 
Today I did legs, but I did more, uh, the squat that I did, I did like a, uh, it was more like, uh, what would I say, I think like an 8 by 10 okay. probably. I just did a little more volume with two plates, c controlling my form, making sure like I was coming down with better form, uh, make sure I, ma I maintained uh, uh, my thoracic extension, lumbar extension, to make sure I wasn't uh, bending through my thoracic spine, I was using my hips more and driving through my feet. Um, what else did I do today? Worked on more hamstring. Just I not I don't like isolation. I mean I, I do a lot of isolation, but that's because I want to make my muscles look better. Uh, but I'm starting to incorporate more athletic like activities. I think I mentioned that last time. Yes. Yeah. So I'm doing more like lunging now, or like step up lunges or box jumps. I'm adding a lot of that stuff, like some Bosu ball stability stuff for. Um, better single leg control single leg stance control i mean i'm not it's not like i'm gonna go compete anywhere but i'm just adding this stuff incorporating this stuff you're a more. physical therapist so functionality is probably a pretty yeah but it's more of a priority you. yeah uh but i do i do even though i i don't like promoting that i do a lot more isolation just because i want like certain muscles to pop out a little more to be a little more defined or grow so depending on the on the day, if I'm if like I have two leg days during the week, one of them's gonna be more for like quads, even though they're already like over dominating my body, but I just try to get more definition, and then my hamstrings, which I feel like I need to develop a little more, my calves, I try to get more volume with those, um, and then like incorporating more explosive movements, uh, more dynamic and functional movements. Uh, Depending on what day it is, I try, I'll scale it back on certain lifts just so the next day I'm able to do like a box jump. So I don't do like 500 repetitions on calves today. So because then tomorrow if I try to do box jumps, I don't know, fuck something up. So I left the calves out today just so tomorrow I could do more of the box jump stuff and then do the calf uh, volume after my like box jumps. Okay. Just because I like doing that more on Saturday because there's less people. Yeah, usually people maybe go to Monday through Friday, and even Friday is like after maybe like seven or eight. Not Monday Friday, people, people don't, yeah, gone. people stop going on Fridays. Yeah, I mean Fridays a lot of people don't go anymore, but even if they do, by like seven or eight they're usually starting to get going because it's time to go out. For I, the think, mo I think for like most people. Tuesday to Thursday are like your Tuesday to Thursday after work to like ten o'clock are your peak hours. I'd say Monday to Thursday just because Monday. Monday not only do you have International Chess Day, but you got a lot of people as, and, and as like a lot of, as, what I've seen. Uh, I mean, obviously it's International Chess Day, but also a lot of girls like to start off their week with leg day, mm -hmm. because I mean that's just what they like to do. It's like men, you know, starting with chess. It's just it's it's a thing. So you get a lot of people, a lot of women on the squat racks, and a lot of men on the bench press, and it's just like that start your week off type of thing. So yeah. I see Mondays as a very packed, heavy day. I will say I do see Tuesdays maybe a little more packed, but Mondays are still pretty heavy. You know what? Hey, public service announcement. If it's if it's 5 o'clock in the afternoon, don't be the dude that takes up two squat racks. I show up to the gym Who today. Who the hell does that? I show up to the gym today. There's a dude using two squat racks in the fucking gym. There's like four squat racks in total. He's using two. One of them for squats. One of them for deadlifts. Hey, bro. You're not going to make gains with two plates on each and alternating on... Hey, who does hey, that? Hey, man, public who service announcement. Don't pick no, up. Don't do that. This dude had like a, his squat rack with two plates, and then his deadlift with two plates, and then he was using both squat racks. Hey, man, pick that weight up and put it up on a squat rack, and then squat it. Don't use two fucking racks. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> who does that? You know, man? God Come damn. On. God and, damn, and, that and pissed then, me off. And then you're, I mean, it just seems like a lot to do also to superset. Like very heavy compound. Yeah, exactly. Lifts. And I was like, "What the fuck is your goal here, bro?" Maybe he just what wants to What the fuck be, is your goal? Know, God damn! Now I'm pissed off. Now that you make me for think a of it. Race. Maybe you he's fucking doing, made me think of that shit. Uh, maybe he's doing a uh, a superset uh, race. With, I walk into the fucking know, gym and I'm like, "All right, I'm gonna find a squat rack." There's a rack there with like two plates on. I'm like, "All right, that one looks empty." I'm gonna I'm gonna do like my my warm up first, and I'll go over there. Then I I say, I'm like. I thought that dude was just on the other rack. And then he goes back to him like, wait, this guy's using two fucking racks? 
God damn, boy. So, I mean, it just seems like a lot to do. I, I'm Call me crazy, but to do two compound lifts I'm gonna like call that. You, I'm not going to call you crazy. I'm going to call him an asshole. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> God damn. That's much more reasonable. But, I mean, it seems like a lot to do. Like I said, supersetting two heavy co- or what should or would normally be heavy and compound I don't even know movements. What, I, know, that's what I don't know what his goals were. Maybe he just really wanted to train some legs. I guess so. Fuck. You're going to add some deadlifts in there yeah, for legs. Yeah, some deadlifts and, and squats. I don't know if you're training for, for like a powerlifting show. I mean, uh, I, I've never been to powerlifting meet, but I don't think that they make you superset. Yeah, I don't know. I think they give you some sort of rest. I don't think they'll be doing that with two plates either, but I mean, I might Exactly, that was, my, that was my thing. This dude, like, he looked like he could lift more than just two. So I don't know what his goals were with having one deadlift, one, one squat rack. I don't know, man. I'm just saying, don't use up two squat racks. Don't be that dude. I mean, I, I will agree. I, I haven't seen anybody use two racks, but I've seen a lot of people that don't have... We'll just call it gym etiquette, and somebody's using like, you know, uh, the the bench, and they're running to use the cables, and they're using like oh, three, yeah. like three or four different things, but they're entirely across the gym. They're not next to each other. Yeah. And then you get on, and they're like, "Oh, I was using that," and you go to the other one, and like, "I was using that too," and you got like three or four things going on, and you're doing like a circuit, which is understandable, but they're um, across the gym. Yeah. Or you show leave, or, or you show leave up that area. Or show up you know. at five a.m. to do that. I mean that's cool too. So but if I go at a five, I go at five a.m. three days out of the week. You know, if you got dumbbells on your bench and you're using them, that's one thing I can kind of see that. You know, if maybe you're hitting different angles, but if you're gonna run across the gym and well, do like three well, different things, well, not at five p.m. either. You know? Well, yeah, that's kind of excessive. Five p.m., bro, go at five a.m. Yeah, there's plenty of room in five a.m. So that's why he was there. That's at where the five. champions go. That's not the champions go. God dang, that's why I go. I go at five and at five. You go five to five. Yeah, five and five. Depend on the day. <laughs> Only twice a week. All right, not three times a week. Oh, three times. Five five a.m. to like five to five forty-five. I do some cardio on three days out of the week, and then afternoon I do my lifts, and then the other days we'll do my lifting at five in the morning. So I just do like a five to seven. All right, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Right? Yeah, we got. All right. All right. All right. Uh, Juan lift underscore. Yeah, that's it, right? That's yours? Yeah. And Victor yours? Leha underscore. I left the space for you. Well, yeah, right. I, mean, I didn't realize what you were doing. I was just like, damn, which one is that? Yeah, Le- uh, what else? Leha left all one word for Facebook and YouTube. Uh, what else? Email. Email juanito.lehalift1 at gmail. And victor.lehalift at gmail. All right, and I have a Snapchat now, uh, which I don't know the name of. All right, this is Leha Lift. <laughs> we'll be back next week. That's it. We're out. Dale.